Hello and welcome to this video. So today we're testing FSD Beta 8.1. Uh, we're outside of Chicago and I wanted to test a bit of a mix, um, different areas, so in distro and then we'll go into the city a little bit. Um, it's going to be a quick trip, it's going to be five, uh, five, six, seven minutes uh, maximum. So uh, just, a, just a feel of how F the latest version um, handles different areas. Um, and as a reminder, FSD doesn't make the car fully autonomous. I'm in control of the vehicle at all times. So I'll be uh, taking over whatever the car is doing something that we shouldn't be doing. And we will be reporting that through um, through the interface. Or uh, if we disengage, it's going to be done automatically. And the information will be sent to Tesla um, directly as soon as we disengage the, um, uh, the system. So talking about the system if you see that blue steering wheel that means that the autopilot or FSD is engaged if it's gray that means that um, the um, uh, like this it means that the I'm driving manually so um, I was a bit abrupt on this turn here I took over by mistake but let's um, let's start again there you go we're gonna come up to this first stop there's nobody on the left nobody on the right we can proceed very good a bit slow but it's still decent and we are making a left here there's a lot of snow so I might have to take over yeah I'm gonna take over we don't want to run over uh, the snow and a lot of ice here uh, with the temperature so I might be I will be engaging here a little bit uh, we'll stay at 10 it is very um, slippery the, the there's a lot of um, snow and ice it froze very recently so makes it very icy and yeah we still a little bit too much on the right so it's very hard for the car to know where to position itself let's see if we can re-engage here okay it's moving over for the left um, not sure why this is a two-way, so we should be on the right. A little bit bumpy, I'm gonna report that. We really should be on the right-hand side. All right, yeah, very far on the right, that's... Um, that's fine, it's very hesitant, I guess. Okay, back on firm ground here. Um, we're gonna make a left at this stop. So we're blind a little bit on the left, there is a fence, so I would expect the car to creep a little bit. The right is uh, very clear in terms of traffic, oncoming traffic. Uh, after this white car, we should be good on the right. Let's see on the left, I can't see. I can see now, it's all clear. It's all good, okay. Oh, put the blinker on. It's moving over a little bit, swerving. Okay, I'm gonna report that. Swerving is not needed. I'm gonna get onto this bridge here. the flow and it's red and we should stop I'm gonna take over here we should have stopped I don't know if the car was going to I'm I, I don't know I don't know I wasn't looking at the screen but um, I prefer to stop here especially with this condition you don't know if um, you know there's a bit of ice and we would um, keep going through so that's fine we stopped here that will be a disengagement for um, for this scenario here I notice if if I try to re-engage now, it might try to go through. So I'll um, I'll re-engage only when we are when the the uh, light is green, just to just to be safe. I can already tell that the projection is hesitant. It's going right and left. It's not sure which lane to pick. I mean, both are fine. Since we're gonna make a right turn um, at the tr uh, the stoplight over there or the stop uh, sign over there. We should probably be on the right lane. We'll see what the car decides to do. I'm 
Okay. Yep, it's moving on the right lane. That's good. I'm going to put the speed back to 30. Just waiting for our turn. We can go. There is a pedestrian now. Waiting for that person to cross. Okay, now we can go. Okay, good. Yeah, that was a good turn. A tur good turn. We stayed away from the curb. Uh, the ice on the side is actually helping us in this situation, which is good. Gives us plenty of room to make those turns. Okay, that was a rolling stop, and we're stopping at the second stop sign. Okay, that's an interesting scenario. So, in Chicago, we have a lot of those. So we have our own stop line, and we have we have a sign that says that they have a stop sign. Oh, they have a stop line. So we should be stopping at the first one, not the second one. So I'm, I'm gonna report that uh, for the first one. And here, yep, here is good. It's stopping at our stop line, which is good. Okay, so a bit of snow. Let's see if the car moves over. Yep, it aimed for it a little bit, but it then corrected itself, that's fine. I'm gonna make a left turn here. Stop, there's nobody, we can go, good. It's a lot less hesitant now. When there's a, we're at a four-way stop and there's no cars, it's a lot less hesitant, it just goes for it. Same thing here, we don't have any cars, we can go. Very good, uh, watch out for the snow, good. Stay away from it, that's good. Good. So we're gonna be almost there. Let's see if it moves over for this parked car. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, maybe. No. Okay, I'm gonna let the car do its thing. Let's see if it corrects itself. Will it? Yes, it does. Very good. I, I say very good. I mean, it's safe, right? It, it did. It did let that yellow car come through. Let me pull over here. Um, it could have passed that car um a bit quicker so there was no doubt about what our attention was uh, but i guess the um the fact that as soon as we wanted to pass the other car um uh, started um taking over so well um, uh, um going through so um as best as we could handle i guess um, i would have been confused as a driver um by that situation as well but uh, the car did um did a decent job at uh, staying you know staying on the lane stopped and then went back to our uh, proper lane so anyway i hope you enjoyed this video that was a quick one uh, if you did like and um, make sure that you subscribe to the channel we'll have more tests coming have a great day and thanks again bye